Hey everyone, today we are going to solve the little code question modify the matrix. Okay, so let me explain with this example. Difficulty of this question is that first of all, we need to find a max value in each column and then uh, replace minus one with the max value. So how can we solve this question? So my strategy is um, every time we start a new uh, column iteration, so we use two loop and uh, first in the first loop, we try to find the max value and then uh, in the second loop, uh, so we replace minus one with the max value. So uh, let's see one by one. So first of all, uh, we iterate through uh, column index zero. So here, and uh, in the first loop, uh, we try to find the max value, and in the end, we find seven. And uh, in the second loop, we try to find the minus one, but uh, there's no minus one, right? So that's why we don't do anything. And then move next, let's iterate through column one. And uh, first of all, uh, we try to find the max value, and in the end, we find the uh, eight, right? And then in the second loop, so try to find the minus one, and we have minus one here. So that's why replace minus one with max value, so eight. And then uh, move next, so uh, iterate through column two. And uh, first of all, I'll try to find the max value and uh, nine, right? And then in the second loop, uh, try to find the uh, minus one, and we have minus one here. So replace minus one with max value and nine. And then finish iteration. So let's compare. So 1, 2, 9, 1, 2, 9, 4, 8, 6, 4, 8, 6, and 7, 8, 9, 7, 8, 9. Looks good. Yeah, so that is the basic idea to solve this question. So let's jump into the code. OK, so let's write the code. First of all, we calculate the length of row and the column. So m equal length of matrix. So this is a row, and n equal length of matrix and 0. So this is a column. And uh, first of all, um, we copy um, input matrix and answer and uh, matrix dot copy. And then, um, so let's iterate through one by one. And uh, for, so we iterate through uh, column based. So column in range and the column is n, right? And then, um, as I explained earlier, uh, we use a two loop. So in the first loop, we try to find the max value and the max bar equal and the max and the matrix and the uh, row and the column. And then, oops, row, row in range and the length of row is M, right? So M. And then uh, we use another for loop for row in range and uh, M. And then if matrix r and c row column equal minus one so in the case update answer row and column equal max value and then just return answer yeah so let me submit it yeah looks good and the time complexity of this solution should be order of m multiply n so more precisely i think a uh, two two m multiply n, but we can eliminate a constant time, so which is a simply uh, order of m multiply n. And the space complexity is also m multiply n, so because of uh, answer. One thing to learn from this problem is that while many metrics problems may require looping through rows and columns once, this particular problem needs looping twice in the direction of columns. So we have one loop here, and uh, another loop is here. So the number of loops needed can vary uh, depends on the requirements of the problem. Yeah, so that's all I have for you today. So please support me with your actions such as comment and the hitting like button. I'll see you in the next question.